The Age of Johnson, 1750-1798. From the 1750s, there was a transition seen from the neoclassical age to the age of Romanticism, as writers started writing using their imagination instead of entirely depending on imitation. This age saw the rise of literacy in England and as a result more people were interested in reading and there was an increase in printing and publishing houses. The coffee houses became the places where literary clubs were formed to discuss politics as well as literature. With the rise of the middle class, the writers depicted common men and women in their writings. Novel and periodical essays as the genre of literature became popular. Writing satires and pamphlets saw a sharp rise with the onset of two political parties called the Whigs and the Tories. Poetry was written for the purpose of satire and heroic couplet was a famous verse form and the sentimental comedy was the most used dramatic form. Matthew Arnold called the neoclassical age the age of prose and reason. Three writers who were most popular of this age were Alexander Pope, Jonathan Swift, and Samuel Johnson. Some of the famous poets were Thomas Gray, William Collins, Oliver Goldsmith, William Cooper, George Crabbe, and Robert Burns. The new genre of novel writing was experimented by Jonathan Swift, Daniel Defoe, Samuel Richardson, Lawrence Stern, Henry Fielding, and Tobias Smollett. Joseph Edison and Richard Steele started two periodicals named Tatler and the Spectator. Those were very popular among the contemporary readers. The Enlightenment thinkers who were known for their philosophies were Edmund Burke, Edward Gibbon, Thomas Paine and David Hume.